Believe it or not, this hunk of old iron was brand new when Abraham Lincoln was running for his second term as president. Well, this engine was built in Richmond, Indiana, August, and it was sold August 6th, 1864. It was so, uh, uh, delivered by rail from Richmond to Seymour, Indiana, and then it was offloaded and taken over to uh, a place called Lanesville. And it actually spent its whole life there from 1864 uh, to when I bought it on, the, on basically the same family farm. In, in Richmond, the, the Gar uh, Company, which is now, was now Gar, uh, then Gar Scott, they, uh, they started building these engines in the, in the late, uh, about 1860. So this is one of the very first, and this is one of the oldest operating farm steam engine that we know of in the United States, operating. There are others in museums, but uh, there's none other running right now that comes to shows and, and can produce steam and, 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 and do some uh, kind of activity. This steam engine produces about 10 horsepower, and it was primarily used for threshing, but it could also be used to pump water or tackle any task that could be driven off the belt pulley. This steam engine is, is called a portable. It was pulled up to, to, to be used on the spot. It had no ability to, to pull itself. In, in 1864, Gar Scott was not, or Gar was not making traction engines. Traction engines came later. They came into, in, in the 1880s when they start me um, mechanizing, putting gearing on them to be able to drive the wheels to move the engine around on its own. Bill Stahl and his portable GAR steam engine that's more than 150 years old can often be found working at the Rushville Pioneer Engineers Show in Rushville, Indiana, held the first weekend of August each year. This is the show where Bill first caught tractor fever. In 1975, a friend of mine uh, and I, we uh, bought a steam engine together and we brought that steam engine to the show. And, uh, and the bug had bit, and ever since then I've been collecting uh, tractors and, and steam engines, uh, gas engines, and diesel, uh, single cylinder diesel engines. Being an engineer, I, a mechanical engineer, I, I just love this old stuff. I love the understanding of, of what those very uh, brilliant at the time, they had no computers to work with. They just did things by basic math and understood thermodynamics and they understood strength and materials and, and all those type of things were necessary to, to come up with this kind of equipment in the mid 1800s. As much as Bill appreciates the design and function of his historic GAR steam engine, he also truly enjoys connecting with fellow collectors. And he finds plenty of kindred spirits each year at the Rushville Pioneer Engineers Club. Founded in 1948, the club is dedicated to preserving American agricultural heritage, and each year as many as 30 steam engines make it to their annual reunion. This show has uh, been about kind of steam engines, but we, we love the tractor guys, we love the, uh, the gas engine people that come here, and, and it, it's all necessary to make a show. And this show has continued to grow uh, constantly since the beginning because we have been all encompassing of, of all types of uh, farm equipment from steam to gas. This show offers a lot for the whole family. One, one it is is very educational for the young and it, it's very uh, brings back a lot of memories for the old so that's the main thing.